basically just a quick tip on the easiest way to do this. Uh, they have big industrial grade furniture rollers you can put it on too, but um, what I'm gonna do is use some lead pipe, or not lead pipes, but um, these are plumbing pipes. They're one inch or three quarters in, inch in diameter. And I'm just going to basically use um, ice pick, ice breaker. You can get these at Harbor Freight for maybe $20, $30. And it's got a little wedge tip on the front of it. And so they have a uh, recess in the front of a mill, right? Just like that. So you can fit that under there. So we'll use that four by four, lay it out here flat right here in this area. Use the um, ice breaker to get under there and tilt it back. And then I'm gonna get my kid to push the iron bar under that front and then I can roll it um, when I get it out far enough. I'm just gonna push it using my body weight against that side. And then when I get up high enough, I'll pry this end up too, and then I can pretty much roll it around like it was on wheels. I'll go ahead and do all that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, go ahead and lift it up. Okay, I'm just showing that you could use uh, that icebreaker to pick this up. Pick it up as hard as you can. All right, see? And so we push that bar underneath. Okay, right now I'm just showing that you can roll, you can basically push this. It doesn't require a lot of force at this point because um, the front end's picked up and that bar will just roll. And so you can get it far enough forward that you could put another bar underneath and I got a third one there so you can keep switching them out and then it makes it so you can move it around. I'll go ahead and stick the second one under there and show you. All right, go ahead and slide it under. Don't put your fingers under there. All right, that's good right there. Now you can see it's just about at the point where it's going to pivot forward. So if I push it a little bit more, it'll just land on that bar. And now it's kind of like on skates. Um, and then I can just kind of tack it over to that. I want to stick it in that corner right there. All right, so you can see I was able to move this from this location here where I had it taped off, uh, kind of jimmy it around. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from the video. We did basically a 90 degree turn and put it that way. Now this is just uh, this is just the base portion of the mill. It weighs about a thousand pounds, but you can still do this with like a fully loaded and fully assembled mill. Um, I've seen people do it. Um, this is a little bit easier to manhandle, but it'll still work. Anyway, um, these bars, they cost about $10 at Home Depot or Lowe's, so they'll save your back, that's for sure. Okay, thank you, bye.